Hi and welcome to another unboxing. To be honest I did not really want to do a separate unboxing video of this but when I opened this box I immediately had to start building because this seems to be a really good kit. As you can see there is still some work to do but it looks quite nice already. In case you are wondering about all the cables here I will try to build the Super Hornet mid-air with the afterburners engaged. So my plan is to mount one or two LEDs inside and use these earrings as afterburners. You will see the outcome in a few weeks I guess. The Revell FA18E Super Hornet comes in 1 1 scale and consists of 63 parts. As usual the manual gives you a bit of background information about the jet. Furthermore you can find all the required paints here. The build starts with the cockpit which turns out quite nice for this scale. You continue with the fuselage, engine housings and stabilizers. After that you mount the landing gear. You can extend the gear or close the gear base. If you want the gear extended you have to cut the bay doors apart. Moving on to the payload. There is a nice variety of bombs and missiles and the kit also comes with two fuel tanks and a flare pot. The canopy can be modeled in the closed or opened position. Now to the paint job. You can recreate a Super Hornet from the VFA31 Tomcatters in this 75th anniversary scheme from 2010. Down here you can also see the federal standard colors, but the manual also tells you how to mix Revell paint to achieve these colors. I had the right colors in this set from Emma of Meg. Now to the decal sheet. These look really nice as you can see. You also get decals for the cockpit and plenty of stencils. Moving on to the parts, you get two clear parts and on this sprue the fuselage with the wings already attached. Some very nice panel lines, only a bit of flash here on the gear bay doors. Landing gear, stabilizers, wheels and the nose. Even though the nose consists of two parts, I can already tell you that the fitting on this kit is very good. And finally the engine nozzles which also have nice details. On this sprue the lower part of the fuselage, notice the detail in the landing gear base. Here are the engine housings and rudders. The ejection seat and cockpit. No switches or knobs but you get the decals for that. Moving on to the pylons and armament. Some Mark 83 bombs, MRAMs, sidewinders and the fuel tanks. And on the last sprue the GBUs and the rest of the cockpit. So that's it for this unboxing. Overall a very recommendable kit. If you want to see the progress on my little diorama, subscribe and follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching and goodbye.